Okay. Now I feel a little bit better. I'd say record starting time and record lack of technical difficulties as far as these tournaments tend to go. Oh, thank you, Bob Lamb. So, we've got Stoic VA and Grizzin on the left side. They're going to be in the blue corner versus Stuart98 and Strubatuba. Uh, maybe that's how you're supposed to pronounce it, but I still really like his name. Uh, on the right-hand side in the carbon. So, we've got Helix Helix versus Warthog Helix. It's almost as if someone may suspect that Warthog or Helix may be stronger mechs than other choices. It's interesting how balance can adjust that way. Stoifier almost getting taken out. Now, both players on the Carbon team went for the same right post and immediately start advancing to that second post, whereas the blue team, they're going for their first post. They split up, so... Stoic VA was trying to neutralize the top, Grizin was going for the left-hand corner. I think ultimately Carbon is going to be a little bit faster in this respect. Um, <laughs> I've actually forgotten the team name already. Yada Yada, Stuart98 and Strubatuber are going to be already ahead in this game just a little bit and moving already to their next post, neutralizing that. Stoic VA, aka Minx, starting to socket some money makers. Interestingly enough, though, that may or may not actually be able to make up the difference uh, with the outposts. Stoic VA just abusing those ground missiles. Uh, Helix now having no ground guns, having just missiles and grenade launchers. Uh, they call it a multi-launcher. Uh, trying to neutralize that first post, whereas Strubatuba and Stewart already moving up and getting a position on this middle outpost. Now, Grizzin and Stoic VA finally taking that, going with mass Rocketeers, just this writhing clump of Rocketeers following Minx, following the Stoic VA. And so you have this mass of flying jetpack infantry. Uh, they are not as strong as they were a few weeks ago, but they can be pretty powerful, if only because they can shoot from the air, and most of these units put out by the Carbon team are unable to attack to the air. So they're sneaking in behind and <laughs> dropping these Rocketeers on the back outpost. Now Stuart trying to do some air-to-air -air fire, trying to pump out some Flackers and Seekers for that anti-air fire. Maybe it will be enough, maybe not, but these Rocketeers keep landing. Blue team firmly taking control of that outpost. Minx going ahead and taking that right outpost as well, while Grizzin is going to start trying to do the harass. Now, Carbon team is on the back foot for sure. They were trying to play a traditional game. They were not prepared for this mass infantry approach. Uh, I mean, Bucky's, of all things. Bucky's are really not going to be a counter to anything that this blue team is putting forth. They've got anti-air and mass infantry so just going ahead neutralizing capturing every single post it doesn't even matter if they hold on to it because they can retake it so quickly so the carbon team has lost almost their entire army but they're pushing with what they have they want to turn this into a base race because the blue team has virtually no defense but with that warthog is going to be able to take out most of these units before they even arrive so Blue team very well aware of this, very well telegraphed uh, on that push. So, And then the Rocketeers coming from behind. Now you may or may not know that tanks take extra damage when they're attacked from the rear. They have less armor. So all of these infantry are actually going to be able to take it out. Strubatuba getting knocked out of the air. Stuart 98 also just kind of giving up on that push. And it gets completely wiped out and the Rocketeers just slowly glide out of frame. So, Stuart actually was able to get a quick neutralize on this post, but he's unable to stay up from the air to ground. Both Warthog and Helix are able to shoot from air to ground and do damage to players, whether they're on the ground or in the air. So, just getting absolutely wrecked there. Um, this is now going into domination. Carbon Team has no more units left. So, kind of a non-standard strategy, to be sure. But, uh, hey... It works if you work it. So Stuart's still pumping out a couple of Buckies, a couple of Flackers, but this is just basically the end now. Just waiting on Minx and Grizzin to go ahead and knock down this fort and start pressing on the on the walls. But all these Rocketeers are still on the follow command. They're trying desperately to chase after Stoic VA, and they're just finding themselves unable to make up that ground.
So continuing to pump out infantry this whole time. Uh, I don't believe you can see the build cues anymore. But just making it happen. And now blue team finally with some tanks for follow-up. So this will be it. This bracket two. Now unfortunately this round of 16 is actually a best of one. So uh, the yada yada, Stuart 98 and Strubatuba getting taken down by Stoke VA and Grizz N. Sliced bread or maybe the best thing since sliced bread. I don't really know what to think about that game. But eh. GG, that's why we're here, is to see stuff that is not ordinary. Otherwise, we just watch ProPro -Pro and Happy Death Crush and other pair of noobs. All right, let's move on. Now, you should...